I'm here with Josh and Kyle. You j put your thumbs up afterward. Writer and director of Edward. I'm going to keep going. Thanks for coming, guys. Hey, thank you for having we're, us. Yeah, yeah we're in Nashville. Absolutely. Uh, so, Edward, people can go on the internet and find out what it's about. Uh, I find it fascinating because it's a really dark story. Like, it's a great one to tell, but it's kind of chilling and dark. Like, what made you decide to tell this? Well, we were actors in the play uh, that went across Canada, and we were like, why isn't this story told? It's, a, you know, this guy that kind of was a godfather of cinema, and no one was telling this story. And I think it is because he's this dark character who had this murder in his life and uh, was also a very obsessive, like, eccentric, you know, kind of genius. So I think it was a hard story to tell. And so this is the first feature on him. Okay. So did you adapt it from the play, or did you kind of write all of your own stuff? No, it's adapted from the play, yeah. Electric Company out of Vancouver wrote this play, and we have uh, we optioned it and adapted it because we were very fascinated in his life. Cool. Right, so are you both Canadian? We're both Canadian. Yeah, what part? Vancouver. Vancouver. Yeah. I've not been there. Okay. I really want to go. I have a lot of friends in Ontario, and oh, yeah? I've gone there a lot, but I've never been to Vancouver. I think it's a tourist destination, Vancouver. It's quite beautiful. Because yeah. yes, you had the Olympics, so now everyone wants to go. I know, the Olympics. Yeah. 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 Excellent. So I feel all the Canadians that I know though are really happy and then you're doing this really dark thing. Like was it being in the play like and doing that all the time and then doing the movie like you've kind of lived his life pretty much. Like has that been a tough thing? Uh, we literally were reliving his life trying to recapture these shots. At one point we were shooting and we needed a scene where we had llamas in it because he did shots with animals as well. And I was on the phone with Josh and he was trying to get llamas into a van to bring them over there. And he said, oh, man, the, the llamas are not getting into the van. I can't imagine why not. I know. <laughs> and then he I'm isn't... not a la llama wrangler. He's not all. a llama wrangler, but he's a remarkable director. And he showed up with goats, like a family of goats that are in the film, and was able to save the scene and everyone waiting to shoot that. You know, and he's a really dark subject, but... Uh, He's also like a very important subject, and and you know I'm when I'm watch TV when we things we talk about like Breaking Bad or Sopranos or Deadwood, you know they're all about characters that are flawed and and three dimensional. And I think that's really the storytelling in in modern cinema and art right now. So we were you know he was a character that was fascinating that we're drawn to him because he had cracks in his character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Very cool. So what's next for the film? It's going to be going to Newport Beach Film Festival, and we also have a couple of uh, premieres internationally in Europe, mm -hmm. uh, which we're excited about. Yeah, there you go. So those yeah. will be announced soon. And then for people that are not in those places, how can they find it? Well, you can keep track of it um, on our website, motion58.com, or uh, Edward Movie on Facebook. It's, it's spelled E-A-D-W-E-A-R-D, -E -A, a very difficult old British spelling of Edward. Maybe that's why like, yeah. things got so tough for him, because no one yeah. can get his name right. He kept but changing his name. I know. Oh, yeah. 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 There'll be more of a release in the fall later this year. Okay. Yeah, late this year. It's exciting. Well, I'm excited to see it. Okay. You guys are delightful. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Yeah.